He's corny as cornbread, seedy as grain. He came out west on a northbound train. The crooks die laughing, but they're dead just the same. He's the shakiest gun in the west. Yeah, he's the shakiest gun in the west. He's got a phony pony that was made in Japan. He rides in the saddle like an elevator man. He's an underfoot, tenderfoot, king of the mess. He's the shakiest gun in the West. Yeah, he's the shakiest gun in the West. But he stands for right, both day and night. He may lose the battle for a while, but he'll win the fight. But he has a little trouble with his trigger finger When he takes aim, it's anybody's guess He's the shakiest gun in the West Yeah, he's the shakiest gun in the West He's a dude done over, you can see at a glance His boots are shiny and so are his pants He's got hair in his eye and a gleam on his chest He's the shakiest gun in the West Yeah He's the shakiest guy in the West, but he stands for right, both day and night. He may lose the battle for a while, but he'll win the fight. Yeah, he stands for right. Madam, please be patient. After all, this is the final examination for these dental students. It's important that you cooperate. Now, stay in your chair and try to relax. Jolly Ned, mother. Relax. We go. <laughs> all right. Just uh, sit down there. There we go. <laughs> All righty, Miss Stevenson. Now, first things first. Now, we're just going to take a little look-see at your general dental condition. Sort of get the lay of the land. <laughs> you know? Okay. All righty, open your mouth. <clears throat> no, no. Now, you see, if, uh, if you don't open your mouth, then, then I can't see anything. See, that's the way that works. Uh, come on now, Miss Stevenson. Seriously, open your mouth. Open up. Come on, come on. I'll just I'll help you here. I'll get that thing. Open that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah. Mm. ah. Mm. How are you doing, Haywood? Fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. Dr. Breedlander. What seems to be the trouble, Haywood? Complete closure of the oral cavity, eh? She won't open her mouth. Watch me carefully. Well, Miss Stevenson, don't we look lovely today? Yes, but we have a toothache, haven't we? A tooth saved is a silver dollar in the bank of health. Now, open your mouth, dear. O open wide. Are we going to open up that mouth? Open that rotten little mouth. <laughs> You're in my way, Haywood. You're in my way. I can't, I can't get loose. I can't. Get me out of here! You're on your own from here on, Haywood. <laughs> if you don't get that mouth open and get that tooth fixed, you don't graduate.
Uh, Miss Stevenson, I realize that this is hardly the time or place to bring this up, but uh, I'd like very much to see you socially sometime. Oh, well, I... Uh... There. <laughs> ah! Everything uh, going okay, Haywood? Fine. Mm -hmm. I'm her best friend. <laughs> uh, Dr. Friedlander, faculty, Students <clears throat> and parents, as we uh, stand on the threshold, louder, as we stand on the threshold of graduation, we may get the feeling that this is the end. <laughs> this is really the beginning, louder, this is really the beginning of stepping out into new horizons, north, south, east, and west. Speaking of west, that is the, dire <clears throat> that is the direction that I personally am going to. Why did I choose the west? Because the west is a place where few, if any, dentists have trod. So I am going to trod there. Why, Jesse? Why? Well, Mo, the West needs dentists. I mean, teeth are falling out right and left out there. Teeth are falling out in Philadelphia, too. Yeah, but Philadelphia is overrun with dentists. There must be seven. Gratitude. Gratitude. Some nice gratitude. But all the plan, all the nice surprises. Your Uncle George was going to give you an office over the harness shop for $3 a month. And Celia's Leonard, Celia's Leonard was going to give you four rolls of wallpaper. <laughs> 